Good morning and welcome to another Parker Adams video walkthrough tour. Um, I'm down on the Hamble River again today and this time I'm in Mercury Marina and behind me I have a Sea Line S330. Now I'm really excited to bring you this boat. This boat is a 1996 boat but it has been absolutely lavished, I think that's the right word, lavished with upgrades by the current owners. Um, both upholsteries, internals, um, navigation wise, it really is a very special boat and I believe this probably is the best 330 around. Um, certainly condition wise it is absolutely beautiful. The engines are well maintained, the upholstery, the upgrades that have been done are really fantastic so I'm excited to show you this boat. Uh, just before I do that, I'll just say thank you once again to everyone's support. Please remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The channel is growing on a daily basis um, and we're really proud to have all your support there. So let's crack on with the walkthrough tour. So one of the things about the sea lines is they do manage to get so much space into boats and this boat is absolutely no exception. It's a 33 foot boat so it's hard to believe really that in just in 33 feet you have a flybridge um, and you have so much accommodation. In terms of the, there's just look at the access and things around the boat, you've got, if we walk forward, you've got side rails. Now, they're not the widest side um, rails, but you have really good handholds, both down lower and upper. And again, that's one of the areas where Sea Line are able to maximise space, because although they don't have particularly wide walkways, they're safe, they're easy to walk down, but it means you get more space down below. In terms of the rest of the bow of the boat, you can see these really nicely upgraded um, bow cushions. You've got lovely bow cushions there, you've even got a, a nice headrest all built into them, and they're all fully waterproof and able to be left out there uh, during the summer months. They'll be brought in shortly for the winter. You've got fender baskets on the front of this boat, so it's easy so you don't need to carry your fenders all the way back. And then you've got these up and down buttons operating the anchor. And a bit like the walkthrough tour I did yesterday on the Sea Line S34, the anchor is just neatly nestled underneath the bow area, so it's out of sight, and that's quite a, a popular Sea Line thing to do of that age. If we look back on the boat, you can see there is a one of these um, sun meshes on the windscreen. That makes a huge difference when it comes to taking away um, some of the heating up inside the, um, the saloon area on flybridge boats. There's a remote control searchlight, and then nice big windows which really show off the light that we'll see in a minute once we step on board. Um, on the stern you've got snap davits so a tender can easily be put in there. Um, there is a ladder which just goes there so if you're swimming you can get in and out and then we step on board onto this nicely moulded um, bathing platform with a transom shower with hot and cold water there as well. What I've done, in terms of the, the covers, the covers are quite different on this boat. They've all been replaced. And what the owners have done is they've, if I show you those first three panels, and then these two panels are actually blacked out. That's quite a clever design. And what, I've seen this a few times now, I quite like it. What you have is you've just got Velcro, and all you need to do is peel that off. So if you want to black out, and when you're leaving the boat, make sure that none of your upholstery perhaps gets sun damaged, then you can totally black out the whole area. So each of these have got this Velcro across here, and of course I've got the pads um, to fill those three things in there when I leave. But I thought I'll show it with, with two in and three out there. So in terms of the space that you've got in the um, in this rear cockpit area, um, it's cut, laid to carpet. Uh, the engines are nestled underneath here. Um, I won't show those today, but I will put an overlay um, photograph on the video as well. Um, the, the engines are AQAD 31s, so they're a turbocharged 31 uh, model Volvo Penta engine, which is diesel. Uh, in terms of performance, this gives this boat a top speed of about 23, 24 knots and should cruise comfortably about 18, 19. So it's not one of the fastest boats out there, but it's comfortable and it's economical, which is very important at the moment. In terms of the, um, the space that you've got around here, you've got seating at the back here for, I would say, four people. Um, and this really nice big curved patio door um, which opens up into this lovely saloon area. And this is where you can really start to see the modifications and the way that these owners have presented this boat. It really does feel beautiful down here, very, very fresh. So let's start off at the back. So here you've got a, a television and then you've got this seti area for two people down here. You've got various controls at the top here for your heating. Um, you've got a remote switch for your inverter, which turns on your television. Then you've got a TV aerial, and then you've got a barometer and a clock there as well. That then sweeps around into a galley area. Now the galley isn't huge, but do you need a huge galley? So this is perfectly functional. You've got a hob, 
you've got a microwave, you've got a double sink. I say it's a double sink. No, it's a bin. No, it's a bin, not a double sink. So you've got a um, sink and a bin in there as well. So everything that you need to prepare a quick, easy meal is there. But of course, remember, this is a 33 foot boat. And for a 33 foot boat to have this much space, I think is remarkable. If we spin the camera around and look at this area here, you've got a U-shaped seating. And again, you'd expect this to be just an L-shaped seating, but Sea Line have managed to squeeze a U-shape into there. And all of this has been reupholstered. Uh, the carpets have been reupholstered in gray, and the boat has a real premium quality feel to it, um, which is absolutely unusual for an age of this boat where you'd expect everything to be perhaps just coming up for needing to be replaced. But of course, these owners have done all that for you. If we move our way up into the helm position, the, the upgrades on this boat haven't just stopped at the upholstery, they've done the navigation as well. So you have a one of these beautiful Raymarine Axiom 9 um, displays here, that's an Axiom 9 Plus. Um, and then upstairs on the flybridge, which I'll show you in a moment, you have an Axiom 12 up there. So you've got two in chart, chart plotters on the boat, a 9 and a 12. Um, manual Morse controls on this boat, so it's before the age of EDCs, which many people think are easier because you've just got a simple mechanical mechanism there. All of your controls, your dials, and then Sea Line have their distribution panel um, for the boat just up at the top here. Um, up here you've got a, a Kenwood CD player, which of course could be changed for a Bluetooth um, system if you wanted to, um, and a VHF up at the top there. The speakers, which are in the cabin and also outside. Sea Line are very, very good with their storage. So underneath the floor, um, you have storage absolutely everywhere. So that's a really, really deep storage locker there, goes right down into the bilge. Um, and everywhere you look, the storage. So underneath all of these seats, the storage, underneath this seat, you've got good storage all around here in the galley area, and then even a little pull-out drawer. Uh, sorry, it's a fold-down flap underneath the, um, the seat here with more storage. So, as I've said, presented in really beautiful condition. I love the fact even just things like this, all of that's been retrimmed as well. So everywhere you look, it looks premium. So as we step down, you've got the, the heads unit. So the heads is pretty original. There's not really much you can upgrade in here because it's all molded um, plastic, but all looks clean, tidy. And I would suggest those lights behind there may well have been upgraded um, at some point because they're very, very bright. So that's a nice, nice heads in there. Now you do have a Jack and Jill door on these heads. So from this door here, you can open this up. I didn't plan that very well, did I? I can open that one. From that door there, you can open up and then you've got access into the master cabin. Now the master cabin is an offset bed, but I think it's a really good size. And in fact, for changing, you've got quite a good space here. If I say that's comparable to most 40 foot flybridges. Um, and again, it's all been relined. So you've got lovely new carpet, you've got new linings um, around the top here. And it's just everything about this boat feels really, really nice and nowhere near her 1996 age. You've got vanity tops here, you've got uh, just little diffusers, and you can tell that this boat is a boat that is absolutely loved by its current owners. I open this door up again and come back through here. You have another cabin. So just under here, you have a little seat and then a large double bed under there. You've got separate lighting up at the top, so you've got reading lights which light up that area here. Again, all of this has been reupholstered. You've got a nice um, light out there so you can see it out. And then up at the top, you've got full standing height in this area of the cabin, two nice porthole windows. Um, there's another worktop here and more storage space down here. So this boat really is just beautifully presented. It has a really lovely feel on it. Um, it's a particularly not very nice day out there. It's a bit murky, it's rainy, um, and being in here is just very, very cozy. So let's make our way up to the flybridge. Now, because it is a bit of a murky day, um, in terms of going up onto the flybridge, what I've done is I've partially removed the cover. I haven't totally taken the cover off, and it's really just because I think we might get a rain shower soon. So I've made sure I can cover the cover flybridge up very, very quickly. Um, going up to the flybridge, I move my shoes, that's scruffily left in the way. Um, going up onto the flybridge here, you have, what's it, one, two, three, four, five, six, six steps that go up onto the flybridge. Um, there's not a ladder, which is good, it's easier to get access, but of course you have got good handholds here and here when you're going up these steps if you were in some form of rough sea. So as we head up the flybridge, there's not a huge amount of um, space for seating up here. You've got 
three seats, I'd say three people or four um, on this bench seat at the front, but you do have this really large sun pad area at the back. So you've got options that you could have picnics up here, you could use that as sunbathing space, and then you've got this single bench seat for three or four people. And then you can see the navigation equipment here with that lovely Raymarine Axiom 12 chart plotter there as well. It's a nice place, lots of good views from up here. So I stand up here, you've got a very commanding view over the boat, which makes mooring up really nice and easy. And of course, seeing those sun pad cushions down below. And that is the flybridge. The flybridge system, um, in terms of closing it all up, you've got this sort of roll mechanism where literally you just roll that down and then that keeps all the rain out from coming down below into this area here. So that has been a quick walkthrough tour of Out Out. This is Sea Line 330. As you can see, she's presented in very, very nice condition and viewing is highly recommended on this boat. If you're in the market for a 33 foot boat, perhaps you've got a berth that can only take a 33 foot boat, I don't think you'll beat the accommodation on this boat. It really is remarkable for how much they've managed to cram in the feeling of spaciousness and also the way this boat is presented. It's a real credit and testament to the owners and we're really excited to be broking her. Thanks again for all your support to Parker Adams Boat Sales. We look forward to bringing you the next walkthrough tour. Please, if you haven't yet, remember to like and subscribe to our channel. And of course, please come and say hi at the Southampton Boat Show. Thanks as always for your time.